ago, there was barely a spark of electric machines at Bauma, which is the largest exhibition for the construction industry in the world. In 2019, prototype and concept electric plants are everywhere to be seen. The question is why? And what's driving the surge in electric machines? I think there are several driving forces that are happening. Uh, one is that there's a, a general interest in what happens next after all of the emissions reductions that have happened over the last 15 years. So diesel engines uh, in, since 2000 have reduced their uh, pollutants in the, in the exhaust stream by about 97%. Uh, but there's not really much further to go there. So the industry is thinking, well, what next? Where is the next thing? It's the legislation coming from the governments where they're wanting to clean up the environment. And there is a lot of goodwill. People do want, are concerned about the environment. They want cleaner air for themselves, their kids, their grandkids. I think it's the clear trend around environmental friendliness. Um, it's, so it's legislation a lot. Um, there's a lot of big cities, big municipalities, Paris, for example, that um, want to become a zero emission city which also involves the job sites, the construction sites in the city. So there's a strong drive um, for, for zero emission technology. So we are working on better machines, electric machines, and you can see a lot of them from Volvo here at Bauma. Eventually the cost of a battery machine will be much lower in terms of total operating costs than a diesel machine. The aims are to adhere to new legislations introduced by governments, reduction in pollutants for the future of the planet and generic goodwill. Electrification is seen as one of the solutions to enable lower emissions. We're powering things like uh, excavators uh, and wheeled loaders and many of them are used in job sites where there is no electricity, there's no power supply. And it doesn't make any sense to be electrifying them just to power them from a, a generator on site. To generate the electrical power that we need to do what we do with our equipment, uh, in which way we, will, we are going to generate this electrical power? We will have uh, a standard uh, um, electrical power plant, maybe burning uh, oil, to generate the electricity to let run our machine, which is crazy. The advantage of electric powered machines are well documented, but there are many challenges too. For an industry that's economically driven, how do the books balance? Of course our customers are, are very astute and these they buy these machines to make money and they buy them to do, do a job. So they're going to be looking already today at the true life cycle cost of the machines. Our customers are driven by the economics and particularly on the larger size machines used in larger projects, they're always looking at, uh, at how to be more efficient. Upfront cost is going to be higher initially. The machine will cost more. Uh, the fuel cost over its life cycle will be lower. So this will create a different uh, economic proposition for our customers. They're going to have to look more long term. There is certainly a documented uh, path that lithium ion is becoming cheaper, but, but it's, it's at least 5, 10, 15 years out into the future. Battery technology, which is developing very fast, but is, is very, very expensive at the moment. Um, so on the machines that BOMAG um, builds, uh, where we have both alternatives, so where we have a conventional um, power system such as a diesel engine and uh, then have one with an electric drive, you're usually looking roughly at two to three times the cost of the machine. There will be applications where it's really hard to financially justify the cost of, a, of an electric drive system, if you, especially if you're using the equipment very few hours per day. Over time the prices will come down of such technology and then it'll become more attractive. But the high upfront investment cost, I think, at the moment um, means you only really have customers buying this type of equipment that need to do it, where it's been mandated uh, you know, by, the, by the municipality that they want to have such technology. Conflicting views. It appears that the players and experts agree that more has to be done to move towards a sustainable world with zero emissions. But is electrification the only answer? We don't necessarily think that the electrification is the only way of going. So today, for example, we've been talking about uh, hybrids um, and we think that hybrids is a faster way of getting 
uh, green benefits than going straight to electrification. The hybrid ship has kind of sailed. Uh, one problem with hybrids is, is they're the maximum complexity. So a hybrid machine has all the complexity of a diesel machine and all the complexity of a battery machine. Some manufacturer they are uh, already applying some solution on a hybrid uh, excavator, for example which is a nice solution. You will see some hybrids, but I don't think it will be a, a, a mass adoption of that technical path. I think most will go straight from diesel to battery. People are considering the use of uh, synthetic fuels, which will effectively uh, be carbon neutral. They'll take carbon out of the atmosphere and using renewable electricity for that process. If you look at LPG, you have a technology that's been commercially available for, for many years. It's proven. Um, you've actually got all the logistics, you know, LPG tanks, canisters are you know, readily available. In many construction machines today, there are inefficiencies that we know about uh, and uh, by us as engine manufacturers working more closely with uh, other parts of the machinery uh, and with the operator himself, we believe that there are very quick wins in terms of fuel saving that we can do today. Will actually electric drives just be a bridging technology before we go to fuel cells. Um, I think you know the limits you have in physics around energy storage and, and these electric systems, and also for for you know the range and the operating hours you need out of such equipment. I think looking 10, 15, 20 years down the line, um, perhaps we actually will see commercially available fuel cell technology. The journey towards finding cost-effective, energy-efficient alternatives is well underway, but whether or not the solution will be electric remains to be seen. There's certainly a long road of research, development, transition and adoption ahead. The worst batteries will ever be is today. They're only going to get better tomorrow and the next year and the next year. As this industry grows and the use of batteries for transportation, off-highway and also for stationary storage for things like grids, the technology is going to improve. There's going to be massive investments as that industry grows. So I think our perspective to be a leader in our industry is very complete, but we can't do it alone. We have to do it with our partners, we have to do it with our customers, and we have to do it with our dealers as well. Because you and I, we want to build a better world, the world that we want to live in. Machine, power machine type, uh, it will happen over the next 5, 10, 15 years. But I do still think that in 20 years' time there will be still machines which struggle to uh, leave the kind of uh, internal combustion engine systems that we've got today. You know, within three years you'll probably see a, a viable portfolio of kind of small and compact equipment that has electric drives and it'll be, uh, it'll be an alternative to existing technology. It's so exciting. And going out here at Bauma and looking at machines and you even if a lot of manufacturers are sort of secretive about what's actually inside, but you know that you have your things in there and it feels like your own babies. So, you know, you, you, it's, it's extremely exciting. But this is something that needs to happen. We need to get work to work on lowering carbon and construction equipment contributes significantly to the carbon output and it, it's, it's time. Right now is the time we need to get working on this and get this job done.